Konami, come on! The full spoiler is out, and uh, I just wanted to show the original image here that we had from Nasalan. Uh, this came from what? Uh, 4chan? And yeah, so this has made its way out there. But Konami, come on. Also, wanna, before I go into this video, I, I do want to give a side note here. Uh, Konami Europe or Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Europe was been or was doing card of the day for gold. And I was I was excited, all right. I wasn't necessarily excited that we were gonna get gold leaks, but I was like, man, if they if they continue to release a gold card a day, like this will keep hyping the community going. And then they stopped. They went back to Rage or Raw reveals. And Konami Europe you dropped the ball on this one. You were doing fine and just go back to doing the reveals and we'd all be happy. So Let's continue to drop the ball, shall we? Ah. So, Structure Deck, Spirit Charmers. I hope you weren't ready for Evenly Matched, because we're not getting it. <laughs> no common Evenly. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Silver Cards, for making this really, really nice layout for this. <laughs> uh, no Evenly, by the way. So... Europe gets the structure deck, what, October 22nd. TCG gets this a couple of weeks later. And uh, as you will see, there is no Santa Claus, no Sangan, no Wonder One, no Heat Wave, and no Evenly Matched. Well, if you wanted Heat Wave, you could have bought the structure deck from, uh, what was it, Speed Duels was the last reprint for this. Uh, and it was really nice there. And for those of you that were hoping that we were going to see a common evenly matched for the player base <laughs> uh, jokes on you you're not getting it however however you are still getting a common dark roller no more so in terms of i guess trade-off you lost an evenly match you're still getting dark roller no more so you've still got a decent amount of value present in your structure deck all right so that's a good piece of news so we lost Santa Claus saying at Wonderland Heatwave and evenly matched. What did they add? Well, good news. In your structure deck, you will find a common Raigeki. This fantastic metagame changing card will allow you to annihilate your opponent's four negate board. I also hope that you have four negate or four negators. That way you can go ahead and activate that Raigeki. So I hope that four cards in your hand will be negated by your opponent, so your fifth card can drop Regeki on the field, annihilating your opponent's strategy, while your opponent will then eventually capitalize and come back in to the format with their graveyard, able to fully combo off back at you yet again. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Also, good news, Denko Seca made it in the structure too, uh, and Valor. Uh, every effect Valor reprint is a win. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, okay, so like... No evenly certainly sucks. Common Regeki, okay, I'll take it. Dark Roller No More still a common in here, which is good. So if you're on a budget and you've been wanting good side deck cards and you couldn't really afford Dark Rulers in the first place, congratulations, they're available to you here. You needed common effect veilers for a budget? Here you go, they're available to you. You wanted Denko Sekas because you couldn't get them for some reason? They're here, all right, even though they've had cheaper alternatives at this point, but... They are here, and you can do your thing. Also, the one of four ultra-rare variants of tokens. As much as I think that people are going to underestimate the tokens, and this would be like, oh, they're not going to be worth anything, they're one of four per deck. I would not be surprised if we see those tokens being worth something. Like, I look at the $10 value on the structure deck, and I, I hate to say it, but those Dark Ruler No Mores are probably going to be a 4 to $5 card later on in their life. If they start off at $3, you're going to see them get bought out. All right, like, the player base knows that this is the second printing of this card, and a card as good as that is only going to get destroyed off of the market. So I, I would say you're at least looking at a little bit about half of your structured up value being in this. The token will probably be a solid dollar, and then you just kind of climb on up through your good reprints, like D-Barrier, Solemn Warning, Effect Valor, Senka, like, these are good 25 50 cent cards. Not even saying that, you know, you get the um, ultra-rare 
uh, Asa and other ones as well available in the structure deck. So there is a lot of good value kind of hidden away in here. Besides behind the, <laughs> we didn't get the evenly. I hate to say it, and this is this is really weird. And not a lot of people aren't going to understand this or agree with this, but Dark Row No More, Denko, Effect Veiler, Warning, all of that's really good value in a structure deck, the, the possible token value. And then you look at Evenly and be like, well, that's that's a lot of good value in a structure deck. Maybe, maybe it was almost too much at the end of the day uh, for Kaanami to want to put into the deck. I know, right? That's really weird. All right, too much of a good thing for the player base. Keep it in moderation. I know that's that's really bad to say, but also is a good news here. Book of Eclipse getting another reprint, Twin Twist. I, I, it's a book of knowledge, too. I think overall, besides everybody, it's like, ugh, evenly matched isn't in the structure deck. Ugh, I don't want to buy this anymore. You're still getting the common dark rulers. All right, like, take your placeholders where you get them at this point for the structure deck. So available to you, what is it? $10 per deck, um, MSRP. Uh, overall, good value coming out of the box. Dark Rule No More will at least probably end up being half of the cost of the deck over the next year or so once this thing goes out of print. Don't be surprised if you start to see Sacred Beast to level weird things happen with this deck where all of a sudden X card is mysteriously worth money because we've seen it happen. And no, I don't think common regeki will be the card that gets us to the point also as a side note here before i end the video here on the spoiler blazing vortex reveals are continuing to reveal um probably the next couple of weeks uh the set release is at the end of the month so as for having a 5 p.m video um every day uh, we'll take it with a grain of salt. As you notice, there has not been a 5 p.m. video over the last couple of days. It's because we've had Konami Japan dropping news, 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 news every single night. So there's nothing I can do about that. If you guys uh, enjoy what we've been doing for content, I'll continue to go on to this schedule. And we will continue this up until the Blazing Vortex reveals. Um, once news stops, though, we'll kind of readjust. I'm just wanting to give everybody a little update there that no, I have not forsaken you all. It's at this point, just buckle up, buckaroo. We have a lot of stuff coming. Gold reveals coming. We have 20 unknown cards in Phantom Rage coming out next month that nobody knows. It's going to be a really weird time for the game. So let's see where things go. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well... I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.